Hello and welcome to the Mastermind semi-finals with me, Clive Myrie. In the spotlight tonight are Anne Maynard, a retired business owner whose specialist subject is the architect, Sir Edwin Lutyens. Ben Spicer, a bar manager whose subject is the rock band Coldplay. Joe Andrew, an emeritus professor. He'll be answering questions on the Karen Peary novels of Val McDermid. And Alex Shilton, an optician. His specialist subject, the films of Terry Gilliam. We've reached the last of our semi-finals with a lineup for the Mastermind Grand Final almost complete. Miss the boat now and its curtains. The pressure will really be turned up to max for the last chance of a crack at the ultimate quizzing prize to win this magnificent glass bowl. We wish all our contenders well, so can I ask our first semi-finalist to join us, please? Your name? Anne Maynard. Your occupation? Retired business owner. And your specialist subject? Sir Edwin Lutyens. Yes, the eminent British architect whose designs include the Cenotaph in Whitehall and the Viceroy's House in New Delhi. In two minutes, let's go. Edwin Lutyens was given what middle name honouring a famous painter and sculptor who was a friend and patron of his father? Landseer. Yes, to which firm of architects was Lutyens articled in 1887 for just over a year before he left to set up on his own? Ernest George. Yes. What was the name of the private house built for the family friend Arthur Chapman near Farnham in Surrey, which was Lutyens' first commission as a solo architect in 1889? Crooksbury. Yes. Castle Drogo, which was constructed overlooking the Teen Gorge on Dartmoor, was designed by Lutyens for which retail entrepreneur? Julius Drew. Yes. Who was appointed with Lutyens as a joint architect of the Delhi Planning Commission, but fell out with him about the gradient of the approach to the Viceroy's house in New Delhi? Herbert Baker. Yes, when he was appointed as the architect of the newly established Hampstead Garden suburb in 1908, Lutyens designed both a free church and what Anglican church consecrated in 1911? St Jude's. Yes. For which South African regiments did Lutyens design a memorial subsequently named the Anglo-Boer War Memorial, completed in Hermann Eckstein Park, Johannesburg, in 1914? The Rand Regiment Memorial. Yes, yes. Lutyens was commissioned by Cecil Baring, later to become the third Baron Revelstoke, to restore the small castle on which remote island off the coast of Dublin. Lambay. Yes, in 1893, who commissioned Lutyens to design a hilltop house called Chinthurst Hill, the first country house he designed in collaboration with the garden designer Gertrude Jekyll. Maggie Guthrie. Yes, Lutyens' memorial to the missing of the Somme offensive in the First World War was unveiled in August 1932 in which village in Picardy? Teepval. Yes. What was the first name of Lutyens' son who collaborated with him on the design of his last great country house, Middleton Park in Oxfordshire, for the ninth Earl of Jersey? Robert. Yes. What house in Sonning in Berkshire did Lutyens design for Edward Hudson, the founder and editor of Country Life magazine? Deanery Gardens. Yes. Who was the collaborating on-site architect with Lutyens on the commission to design the new British Embassy in Washington, D.C. in 1927? Longfield. No, it was Frederick Brooke. And you had no passes, and at the end of that round, Anne, you've got 12 points. Thank you. And our next contender, please. Your name? Ben Spicer. Your occupation? Bar manager. And your specialist subject? Hold play. The chart-topping British band initially formed by Chris Martin and Johnny Buckland, who were later joined by Guy Berryman and Will Champion. In two minutes, let's go. Coldplay performed their first live gig in January 1998 under the short-lived name Starfish at which venue in Camden? The Lowell Tree. Yes, the cover of which Coldplay album is based on a century-old photograph of a band of musicians featuring Johnny Buckland's great-grandfather? Everyday Life. Yes, Coldplay wrote the song Till Kingdom Come for which American singer who died just a week before he was due to record his vocal contribution? Johnny Cash. Yes, what's the title of the independently financed three-track EP which in 1998 became Coldplay's first release? Safety. Yes, pro Proceeds from the band's 2019 song Trouble in Town were split between an African children's charity and what non-profit legal organisation? The Innocence Project. Yes, which Coldplay song was the subject of a lawsuit filed by the American rock guitarist Joe Satriani, but later dismissed with the agreement of both parties, accusing them of plagiarising portions of his composition, If I Could Fly. The Scientist. 
No, Viva La Vida, the band's career-spanning documentary, A Head Full of Dreams, which marked their 20th anniversary in 2018, was directed by which British filmmaker and longtime friend of the group? Matt Whitecross. Yes. For which single did Coldplay create an alternative music video featuring clips of George W. Bush, Tony Blair and others entitled Dancing Politicians? Violet Hill. Yes, which actor joined Coldplay on stage in July 2016 at the MetLife Stadium in New Jersey to play guitar on the songs Earth Angel and Johnny B. Good, prompting Chris Martin to say, that's how a dream come true. Michael J. Fox. Yes, the band began the practice of giving their audience members radio-controlled LED wristbands, which changed colour in time with the music, on their world tour to promote which album? Milo Zalota. Yes. Which of Coldplay's hit singles credits Ralph Hutter, Karl Bartos and Emil Schult as co-writers because it includes part of the melody from the Kraftwerk track Computer Love? Talk. Yes. What name, inspired by the type of business that once occupied the premises, did Coldplay give to the private North London studio opened in 2006, which became their headquarters? The Bakery. Yes. A sample of Barack Obama singing Amazing Grace features on which track on the 2015 album A Head Full of Dreams? Slidescope. Yes. What's the name of the hall? I've started, so I'll finish. What's the name of the hall of residence at University College London, where the four members of Coldplay met while living there as students in 1996? Ramsey Hall. It is Ramsey Hall. And Ben, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got 13 points. Thank you. Our next contender, please. Your name? Joe Andrew. Your occupation? Emeritus professor. And your specialist subject? The Karen Piri novels of Val McDermott. Best-selling series of crime novels by Val McDermott about an investigator in Police Scotland's historic cases unit. In two minutes, let's go. Karen Piri is introduced in the novel The Distant Echo, in which she has joined the Cold Case Review Squad in Fife and is assigned to the 25-year-old murder of which teenager? Rosie Duff. Yes. What's the name of the Edinburgh Cafe run by a Syrian refugee group where Piri often enjoys a cardamom coffee? Aleppo. Yes. In the Skeleton Road, Piri has been promoted to Detective Chief Inspector and investigates the human remains found in a mock Gothic pinnacle on the roof of what abandoned school in Edinburgh? The, uh, the John Monroe. No, the John Drummond School. What's the name of the forensic anthropologist described as lean as a whippet and barely five feet tall? Who River first Wild. appears in a darker domain. It is River Wild. In Broken Ground, what specific event of the Highland Games was the speciality of Joey Sutherland, whom the fitness instructor Rory McCauley had loaned £5,000 to buy a camper van? Wait for height. Yes. What name after that of their commandant is given to the team of French police officers who assist Piri and Detective Sergeant Daisy Mortimer in Paris in still life? Le Gautier. Yes. The travelling puppet theatre troupe who squatted in the ruined villa in Campora in Tuscany in a darker domain went by what six-letter name? Bird Est. Yes. What was the occupation of Tina MacDonald, the victim in a Glasgow murder cold case that Piri reopens in Out of Bounds? Hairdresser. Yes. On what former railway line in Leith does Piri first encounter Moran and the other Syrian refugees gathered around a fire? Restalrig. Yes. At the beginning of a darker domain in June 2007, a young woman called Misha Gibson reports the disappearance of her father, whom she says went missing in 1984 from which Scottish mining village? Newton in Weems. Newton of Weems. Yes. What make are the two motorcycles originally belonging to the US Army that Alice Somerville's grandfather and his friend buried in a peat bog in Wester Ross in 1944? Indian. Yes. At the end of the Skeleton Road, Professor Maggie Blake takes her friend Tessa Minogue up to the roof terrace of which building? The Radcliffe Camera. It is the Radcliffe Camera. And Joe, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got 11 points. <laughs> And our final contender, please. Your name? Alex Shilton. Your occupation? Optician. And your special subject? The films of Terry Gilliam. The films directed by the American-born member of the Monty Python team in two minutes. Let's go. In Time Bandits, after the young boy Kevin is taken from ancient Greece by the eccentric band of robbers, the group immediately land on board which famous ship? 
Titanic. Yes, in Monty Python and the Holy Grail, when King Arthur and his knights see a castle on a hilltop and reverently exclaim, Camelot, Arthur's trusty servant Patsy responds that it's only a what? Model. Yes, in Brazil, what's the first name of the father of protagonist, Sam Lowry, an anagram of which is used as the elevator access code to the Deputy Minister of Information's office? Jeremiah. Yes, according to the opening credits of The Man Who Killed Don Quixote, the film was more than how many years in the making and unmaking? 30. No, 25 in The Fisher King. What's the title of the sitcom that's pitched to Jeff Bridges' character, Jack Lucas, and described as a funny, upbeat way of bringing the issue of homelessness to television? Home Free. Yes, what's the name of the nightclub in Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, where Johnny Depp's character, Raul Duke, sees an older version of himself, played by Hunter S. Thompson? The Viper Room. No, The Matrix. Hidlick and Bunst, the assistants to the Brothers Grimm, are tortured by having their heads enclosed in glass boxes containing what creatures? Nails. Yes, what's the title of the book that the psychiatrist Catherine Rayleigh is signing after giving a 1996 lecture in the film 12 Monkeys? The Doomsday Scenario. No, the Doomsday Syndrome. In the Zero Theorem, what's the name of the WizKid programmer who prefers to call everyone by his own name because to do otherwise would be a waste of brain cells? Bob. Yes, what's the juvenile-sounding name of the production company owned by Terry Gilliam that's jointly credited alongside Lionsgate, Infinity Features and Davis Films in the opening titles of The Imaginarium of Dr Parnassus? Childish films. No, Poo Poo Pictures. The Jabberwocky, when Max Wall's character meets with the Council of Merchants, the court herald announces him as King Bruno the what? Dubious. No, questionable. Tideland is an adaptation of which author's 2000 novel about a young girl called Jeliza Rose living in a rundown old house? Mitch Cullen. Sorry. <laughs> rundown old house beside a railway line in rural Texas. It is Mitch Cullen. And Alex, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got seven points. And at the end of the specialist subjects round in this semi-final, let's have a look at the scores. In fourth place, with seven points, it's Alex. In third place, with 11 points, it's Joe. In second place, with 12 points, it's Anne. And in first place, with 13 points, it's Ben. So now the general knowledge round. And if there's a tie at the end, then the number of passes is taken into account and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, it's a tie break. So let's ask Alex to join us again, please. So Alex, you start with seven points. You've now got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. The national flag of Germany features three horizontal bands of black, gold, and what primary color? Red. Yes, what unit of time is equal to 1,440 minutes? Uh, a month. No, a day. Round about midnight, sketches of Spain and In a Silent Way are albums by which American jazz trumpeter? Uh, Miles Davis. Yes. In cricket, in 2022, which country won the Women's World Cup for a seventh time, beating England in the final? Australia? Yes. What branch of computing and telecommunications concerning the storage, retrieval and sending of data is often abbreviated to the letters IT? Information technology. Yes. In the Conservative Party leadership contest in 2022, which former Chancellor of the Exchequer was the losing candidate in the final round of voting? Rishi Sunak. Yes. Which American actor co-wrote and produced the 1975 comedy film Shampoo, in which he also stars as George, a Beverly Hills hairstylist? Warren Beatty. Yes, the physician and chemist Adair Crawford is credited with the discovery of which metallic element named after a village in Western Scotland? Gallium. No, Strontium, a stage production that opened in London's West End in November 2021, starring Eddie Redmayne and Jesse Buckley, is a revival of which 1966 musical by Kanda and Ebb? Hairspray. Yes, no, Cabaret. The artist, poet and model Elizabeth Siddle was, from 1860 until her death in 1862, married to which member of the pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood? Pass. What television sitcom first broadcast in 2011 stars Simon Bird and Tom Rosenthal as brothers who visit their parents' house for a weekly evening meal? Friday night dinner. Yes, members of the US Senate are elected for a term of how many years? Three. 
no, six. What's the title of the 1934 Agatha Christie novel in which Hercule Poirot investigates a death that has taken place on a luxury train stuck in a snowdrift on a journey across Europe from Istanbul? Murder on the Orient Express. Yes, in the finale of which Mozart opera first performed in 1787 is the title character dragged into the flames of hell? The Magic Flute. No, Don Giovanni. What stately home between Luton and Milton Keynes is the principal family seat of the Duke of Bedford and is noted for its roaming deer and nearby safari park? Chatsworth? No, Woburn Abbey. What French word derived from the Latin for body is used in English for a small spray of flowers usually worn on the lapel of a dress? Corsage. It is corsage. Alex, you had just a one pass. The artist, poet and model Elizabeth Siddle was married to Dante Gabriel Rossetti. And at the end of that round, Alex, you've got 16 points. Thanks. Next up, it's Joe. Joe, you start with 11 points. The score to beat, as it stands, is 16 points. You've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. What name for a buttery, flaky, crescent-shaped roll often eaten at breakfast is the French word for crescent? Croissant. Yes, Dan Maskell, who died in 1992 at the age of 84, was a player, coach and renowned commentator in which sports? Tennis. Yes, the American cities of Cleveland and Buffalo stand on the shore of which of the Great Lakes? Michigan. No, Erie. The words spark and sparky are informal terms for a person with what occupation? Electrician. Yes, in July 2022, Christina Moore became the first female chief minister of which one of the Channel Islands? Jersey. Yes, in the title of the 2022 television series about a comic book fan who possesses superpowers, the character Kamala Khan, played by Imam Vellani, is known by what name? Buffy. No, Ms. Marvel. What common scientific instrument used to view very small objects has a name derived from Greek words meaning small and look at? Microscope. Yes, which American actor became the second deaf person to win an acting Oscar when he won the Best Supporting Actor Award for the 2021 film Coda? John Smith. No, Troy Kotzer. Which European country has the International Vehicle Registration Code PL? Portugal. No, Poland. Which Venetian artist, 22-foot-tall altarpiece panel painting, Assumption of the Virgin, also known as Assunta, was first displayed in the Frari Church in Venice in 1518? Titian. Yes. What controversial novel, first published in 1955, is presented as the posthumously published memoirs of a man called Humbert Humbert? Lolita. Yes, the popular uprising in southeast England in 1381, commonly known as the Peasants' Revolt, is alternatively named after which leader of Kentish rebels who marched on London? Perkin Warbeck. No, what Tyler, the Brazilian supermodel with the surname Budchen, is often known just by her first name. What is it? Naomi. No, Giselle. Early in their acting careers, James Corden, Russell Tovey and Dominic Cooper all appeared in which Alan Bennett play first performed in 2004? The History Boys. Yes, in Australia, a Brumby is a wild specimen of what normally domesticated animal? Dog. No, horse. Which knighted British conductor founded the London Philharmonic Orchestra in 1932 and the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra in 1946? John Barbirolli. No, Thomas Beecham. Which town in Pembrokeshire, known in Welsh as Abergwine, is a departure point for ferry crossings to Rosslare in Ireland? Fishguard. Yes, Desmond Tutu, King Abdullah of Jordan and the Dalai Lama are among the past winners of what annual award established in 1972? I've started, so I'll finish. Established in 1972 to honour achievements in the advancement of spirituality and sometimes known informally as the Nobel Prize for Religion. The Religious Prize. No, it's the Templeton Prize. Nice try, though. <laughs> Joe, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got 20 points. Next up, it's Anne. And you start with 12 points. The score to beat, as it stands, is 20 points. And you've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. The abbreviation ASAP, often used to express urgency, means as soon as what? Possible. Yes. What's the first name of the long-serving Coronation Street character played by Barbara Knox, who first appeared on the show in 1964? 
Rita. Yes, which US state in New England gets its name from the French for Green Mountain? Vermont. Yes, yeah, Shane Filan and Kean Egan are two of the original members of which Irish boy band? Boyzone. No, Westlife in the final of the 2022 UEFA Women's European Championships. Which player scored England's winning goal in extra time? Helen. No, mm. Chloe Kelly. Postcodes beginning with the letters IV cover addresses in and around which Scottish city? Inverness. Yes, which Soviet leader was awarded the 1990 Nobel Peace Prize for his role in easing East-West relations? Gorbachev. Yes, the Oscar-winning 2021 documentary feature film about the 1969 Harlem Cultural Festival featuring performers such as Stevie Wonder and Nina Simone is entitled Summer of what? Music. No, Seoul. Which city replaced Lagos as the capital of Nigeria in 1991? Ajuba. No, Abuja. Which British horticulturalist who died in 2018 developed more than 200 varieties of rose during his lifetime, starting with the Constant Spry in 1961? David Austin. Yes, the name of what two-dimensional shape is used to refer to the rows of seats in a theatre positioned above the stalls on the lowest level but beneath the gallery? Choir. No, Circle. Summoned by Bells, first published in 1960, is a poetic autobiography by which future poet laureate? John Betjeman. Yes, the Labour politician Tristram Hunt stood down as an MP in 2017 to take up a post as director of which London Museum? Tate. No, Victorian Albert. The American country music star Loretta Lynn, who is the older sister of which other singer who had a UK hit single in 1977 with Don't It Make My Brown Eyes Blue? Crystal girl. Yes. What infectious but curable medical condition is sometimes known as Hansen's disease after the Norwegian physician who identified its cause? Measles. No, leprosy. The king of the Franks, Charles I, who reigned in the 8th and 9th centuries, is commonly known by what French name meaning Charles the Great? Charlemagne. Yes. Which South American animal, said to resemble an oversized guinea pig, is the world's largest living species of rodent? Koi poo. No, the Capybara. What was the stage name of the actress Beatrice Tanner, born in 1865, known for her romantic correspondence with George Bernard Shaw and for originating the role of Eliza Doolittle in his play Pygmalion at the age of 49? Sarah Bernhardt. No, Mrs. Patrick Campbell. And Anne, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've got 21 points. Thank you. And finally, let's have Ben again, please. So, Ben, you start with 13 points. The score to beat to get through to the Mastermind Grand Final is Anne's 21 points. You've now got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. The American golfer Eldrick Woods, a former world number one, is usually known by what nickname? Tiger. Yes, what word for the lining of a cow's stomach when used as a culinary ingredient can also be used to mean rubbish or nonsense? Um, intestine. No, Tripe, the song Red Red Wine, which topped the UK chart for UB40 in 1983, was written in the 1960s by which American singer? No Diamond. Yes, Donnerstag is the German word for which day of the week? Friday. No, Thursday, the 2022 television series The Tourist stars which actor from Northern Ireland as a man who wakes up in the Australian outback with no memory? Jamie Dornan. Yes, the landlord's game devised by an American stenographer named Elizabeth McGee was the forerunner to what familiar board game patented in 1935 by Charles Darrow? Monopoly. Yes, which Scottish physician and naval surgeon conducted trials to test the efficacy of citrus fruit in the prevention of scurvy, publishing his findings in his 1753 book, A Treatise of the Scurvy? MacDonald. No, James Lind. The 2022 Commonwealth Games were hosted by which English city? Birmingham. Yes, Theodore Roosevelt became US president in 1901 following the assassination of which incumbent president? McKinley. Yes, the name of which sea comes from Latin words for middle and land? Mediterranean. Yes, which British journalist and documentary maker wrote the books The Men Who Stare at Goats, The Psychopath Test, and So You've Been Publicly Shamed? John Ronson. Yes, on his marriage in 1999, Prince Edward was given the title Earl of where? Um, London. No, Wessex. In 1759, which Canadian city was captured from the French by British forces led by Major General James Wolfe after a battle on the Plains of Abraham? Montreal. No, Quebec. According to the official laws of football, the list of compulsory items that must be carried by a referee are a watch, red and yellow cards, a notebook, and what other item? Whistle? Yes. What's the alphanumeric name of the orbital motorway that encircles Manchester? 
M50. No, M60. What was the surname of the British scientist William and his son Lawrence, who were joint recipients of the 1950 Nobel Prize in Physics for their work on crystallography and X-rays? Harvey. No, Bragg. What musical, which premiered in New York in 1967, has the subtitle The American Tribal Rock Musical? Rock of Ages. No, Hair. Which variety of dog with distinctive facial fur that resembles a moustache or beard has a name derived from the German for muzzle? Dashend? No, Schnauzer, a mildly derogatory term for someone who is smug about being virtuous, was popularised by the nickname of Marjorie, the heroine of a popular 18th century... I've started so I'll finish. Heroine of a popular 18th century children's book entitled The History of Little Goody... Who? Two Shoes? It is Goody Two Shoes. <laughs> you made it. Ben, no passes, and you have 23 points. <sighs> Thank you. So, let's have a look at the final scores. In fourth place, with 16 points, it's Alex. In third place, with 20 points, it's Joe. In second place, with 21 points, it's Anne. And in first place, with 23 points, it's Ben. Which means that he goes through to the grand final. Congratulations to him. If you would like to be a contender in the next series, please go to our website, bbc.co.uk slash mastermind, and you can follow us at Mastermind Quiz. Join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. So obviously in the heat I did Peaky Blinders, I wore the full waistcoat and flat cap and jacket. Your specialist subject. Peaky Blinders. And uh, I thought I had to do something related to my subject again for the semi-finals, so doing Coldplay, I wear the guitar shirt. I, uh, I actually just bought this especially for Mastermind um, and it's paid off because I think I look pretty groovy. So I've had a lot of support from uh, both my boss and the regulars and the other staff in the pub I work in. When they see me in the funnel, they're going to be so excited. It's, uh, they're, they're, they're my little fan club and uh, I, I really appreciate them. You made it. Ben, no passes and you have 23 points. <sighs> It feels absolutely sensational to have just won my semi-final of Mastermind and be in the grand final. I never expected to get this far when I applied. I thought semi-final was, was my target and that's what I was aiming for. So to go one step further is absolutely amazing. With 23 points, it's Ben, which means that he goes through to the grand final. Winning the glass bowl and winning Mastermind, I'm not even sure I can process that in my, in my head yet. It would be, when I started this process, as I say, I, I didn't think I would, I would even get to the final, so to even think about winning it is unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. It would mean so much.